guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Drew. I'm 24 years old from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I'm a wax addict. Welcome to the madness. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. This time of year is either the most stressful time of the year or the most fun time of the year. Now, in the wax world, and if you are a wax addict like me and so many others, whether you make videos or not, Rose Girls Mario pre-order. Now, what does that mean? Well, everybody knows Super Mario Brothers, right? Jenny Oaks in Little Oshkosh, Wisconsin, who has been making wax for years and years and years and years and years, does this little thing every year before Christmas called her Mario pre-order, where she offers her most coveted scents themed by Super Mario, and she shares them with you. You can order as much or as little as you want, and it's a pre-order style. So it's open for, I think she opened it for a weekend or a week. A couple months ago, placed your orders, and now the time has arrived. Now when I got my tracking numbers, I was a bit confused and a bit worried because I had five tracking numbers. Five tracking numbers. I know I ordered a lot of wax, but five? Turns out two of the labels were created and canceled, so I have three boxes. Two large and one small. I ordered 15 half pies and 11 or 10 mini melters. If you don't understand what that means, we'll talk about it. But essentially, she offered mini melters, which are just like her traditional melters. They're just a little bit more fun and colorful in the sense. And then she also offered mumbo jumbo half pies of the scents. And I knew there were some scents that I absolutely loved for years and years. Ones that sounded new to me, that were new to me, but sounded absolutely incredible. And then, mini melters are just super, super fun. But, it's also super important that I'm making this video because we don't have an exact date yet, so I'll leave her Facebook group down below where you can find out all the information. She is going to be offering all of the mini melters in a ready to ship once everybody receives their orders. So, if you find scents that you love and feel sad because you missed out on them, don't fear. Her pre-orders, or her ready to ship, is coming up soon with the melters. Now, you cannot get the pies, unfortunately, but you are able to get mini melters. There's no limit until they sell out. So, whatever's left, she's putting up for sale. And, again, the date is to be determined, but all that information is down below. I have so much wax to share. It's the best time of the year. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to work small and work my way up to the big shows. So, this box right here are my mini melters. So, we're just going to dive right in with Autumn Mountain. Sounds a little bit like not in season, but that's okay, because it is a blend of Cider Lane, Dunk My Donut, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Cider Lane, as you know, is my kryptonite. It's like this rich, ooey gooey, delicious caramel scent. Now, I'll be honest, mixed with Dunk My Donut, which is like her version of like a rich donut-y scent, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, which are really strong oils, but that Cider Lane takes over is definitely in the forefront, and I'm not mad about it. It's an ooey, gooey, rich apple caramel scent with just a hint, a hint of bakery goodness. Next, I got this purely on the name, Grandma Got Run Over by a Chain Chomp. And the notes are blackberry jam butter cookies, cotton candy frosting, and waffle comb. Alright, and so you know, the mini melters for the Mario are typically double layered, so you just pop one of these in a warmer to get your set, and this is nice. The blackberry jam butter cookies is like that ooey gooey rich blackberry jam with a hint of like a shortbread cookie. And I definitely get that in the front, but it's also super, super sweet. So that's where that cotton candy frosting comes in. I'm not getting much waffle cone, but with Rose Girls, you definitely get those more blender scents more when they come out. One that is on my list to get more of, for one, the colors are just out of this world, Fire Mario. Marshmallow Fireside, Donut Holes, and Espresso Beans. I did smell all of these really quickly, but I knew I needed to film the video. 
you pick up on espresso beans, first and foremost. And it's like those chocolate-covered espresso beans where you get them, you eat them, and the sugar from the espresso or from the chocolate and the caffeine from the espresso makes you super jittery and chocolate and candy and coffee and mm, delicious. Definitely pick up on that. The marshmallow fireside adds like a smoky, roasty, toasty, and same with the donut holes. It's like that rich, buttery, delicious pastry donut yeastiness. It's really good. I think this would be a perfect one for all year. That's the one thing about her Mario blends. They only come out around Christmas, but some of the scents are perfect for year-round. That's why I'm stocking up. Go tell it on DK's Mountain. Fresh Pine, Sweater Weather, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And this one is very heavy on the sweater weather, which sweater weather is a dupe for Bath & Body Works sweater weather. It's like a very juniper berry outdoorsy fragrance. I'm not picking up on a ton of pine, but I, I know it's in there. It's very in the background, so if you're a big fan of sweater weather, but want it to be a little bit more outdoorsy and woodsy, Go Tell It on DK's Mountain is definitely good for you. I like it. It's definitely not pie-worthy for me, though. It'll be a good one to, you know, blend during that time of year when you want something just really fresh, outdoorsy, a little bit sweet. Penguin Mario. Spearmint, whipped cream, vanilla bean noel, and sweater weather. So again, sweater weather, a super dominant fragrance oil. And I think spearmint met its match here. Because, or sweater weather made its match here with spearmint because... The spearmint in here is definitely coming through. Like that fresh bite of your first uh, spearmint gum, when you first take a bite of it and it's like <sighs> cleared your mouth, that's what Penguin Mario smells like to me. But then the more you smell it, you get the layers of the sweater weather. Vanilla Bean Noel whipped cream, again, more like blender scents, but I feel like if they weren't in it, it would almost be too overpowering on the um, pine or, and the spearmint. But it's good. Ludicrously Lucky Luigi. Now this is one I'm very glad that I only got in a mini melter. It is Florida Key Lime Pie, Berry Licious, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I love a Key Lime Pie scent. This just smells like Berry Licious. I'm not really picking up on any Key Lime Pie, and I really thought I would because Key Lime Pie is naturally, like lime is naturally a pretty strong oil. But it just smells like a very sweet, creamy berry. Like a blackberry, a raspberry, like a warm berry. But I'm not picking up on any key lime pie. It's okay. It's not a favorite. Um, there's ones I like way better. Snow Kingdom. I think I only bought this because it was a new blend this year. Candy canes, cool peppermint, vanilla bean noel, vanilla ice cream, and musk. This, to me, is a very good, like, just nighttime sleeper fragrance. It smells like a very sweet, creamy peppermint. But it's interesting, the musk really sings through in this fragrance. It's very, very like perfumey at the end. Which is interesting, which is what sets it apart from any other like creamy, basic like peppermint vanilla scent. Not a bad thing at all. I just definitely noticed that there's way more like musk in this with the peppermint. It's good. Wario's Winter Wonderland, and this one is Candy Cane, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, Eggnog, and Sugar Cookies. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Eggnog and Wax, and it's here. It's very creamy custardy. That's what I get from Eggnog and Wax is like creamy custard, whereas like I know creme brulee is like a custard too, but creme brulee has that burnt sugar note. This is more just that creamy custard. I do pick up on a slight bit of candy cane. This is a nice blend because the candy cane in here, my cat is literally on my television. Can't. Um, yeah, it's just like slightly, slightly pepperminty mixed with the creamy custardy eggnog. It's a good blend. It'll be good for the holidays. A very Mario Thanksgiving. Jenny, when she saw, she did a poll where like, make your own Mario scent. This one won automatically, didn't even need a poll. She just loved the idea so much. And it's sweet potato, royal sugar cookie, pie crust, caramelized pralines, sweet pumpkin pie, and a sprinkle of marshmallow. So we have a lot going on here and a very Mario Thanksgiving. 
I was expecting more. I don't dislike it, but it's like caramelized praline and marshmallow heavy. And then I feel like the sugar cookie and the sweet potato add just a little bit more of like that like sweet food-like scent. Yeah, it's good. I would not smell this and think there's sweet potato in it, but when I read the notes, like I can detect it slowly in the background, but it's like a very sweet sugared praline scent. It's good. It's definitely good. I, um, I like more sweet potato scent though. A sweet princess party. Strawberry pound cake, cookie land, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and vanilla ice cream. I love strawberry pound cake. I like strawberry jam better than strawberry pound cake, but this is nice. The colors are really pretty. It's like teal and like a baby pink. The strawberry pound cake is in here. It's that, you know, sweet Bath & Body Works scent. A little bit artificial, but that's okay because strawberry pound cake in real life is like the glazed strawberries. Cookie Land, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and Vanilla Ice Cream. It's just a very sweet strawberry pound cake. But I appreciate that strawberry pound cake as a note is in here and it is pretty prominent because Cupcakes at Tiffany's is a strong oil and that's like a vanilla cupcake with chocolate icing and toffee pieces. Thwomps. I ordered this one because of Danny. She really likes this one. It's pine, peppermint, sugar cookie dough, and campfire marshmallow. I'm really appreciating pine sugar cookie this year more than I ever did before because it's something that you really don't think about blending like a pine tree with a, sh with a rich sugar cookie. But it's good. It's good. It's definitely sugar cookie and pine. Peppermint is like that nose clearing peppermint, but it's just a hint. It's it's yummy. It's very it's very um it's very bakery. So to smell like a really bakery sugar cookie with pine and peppermint, it kind of like makes your nose play tricks on you. And then the last mini melters. Have yourself a very Mario Christmas. Peppermint mocha cookies and dunk my donuts. So like a... Okay, so this smells like hot cocoa powder on top of like a donut. Like, think about like a donut made with like a really rich chocolate icing and then sprinkled with hot cocoa and candy canes. Because I pick up on like the powderiness of a cocoa in this scent that I don't pick up on many, unless that's like the donut note and that's that yeastiness coming through. But I find that it's more that like cocoa dust powder on top of the donut. It's really yummy though. So let's move on to my pies. I have a pie problem. I have 15 half pies, so seven and a half pies of wax to go through, and I'm not mad about it. So, what I am going to show you one that's super fun, we'll start with this one. I'm not gonna take them all out of the bags because that's just way too much work, but this is a half pie from Rose Girls. So, she takes the scent, it's all the same scent, all the different colors, it's just, you know, blended. It's not like one's one scent, one's the other. So she has her mini melters. Some are her layered mini melters, others are just her plain mini melters. And then she over pours with one color. And then when the wax is warm and it gets all um, swirly, you really notice those amazing effects. And this one, Birdo's Magical Cupcake Land. And this is raspberry sauce, strawberry jam, and birthday cake. It is sweet, it is fruity. The raspberry jam and the strawberry jam, or raspberry sauce, and the strawberry jam just make this fruity, a little bit tart from the raspberry, and then that birthday cake sweetens it up. I have a whole head worth of Birdo's Magical Cupcake Land, and I'm not sad about it. I have to figure out where I'm gonna put these. So much wax. All right, the next one I ordered because everybody raved about it. Now I did get it in mini melters and it is Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. And this one's so, so festive, red and green. And this is eggnog, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and donut holes. Again, I pick up on that super creamy custard note, but it's definitely mixed with a very rich bakery. 
And the bakery kind of is, gives me like a, it's addicting. Like, it's something that a bakery scent that you just want to keep smelling and keep smelling. And mixed with that creamy custard is so, so yummy. I really like this. This will be great. I'm actually going to save this for next Christmas. So it's nice and cured and I can look at it. The next one is Boo's Spooky Castle. Booberry, vanilla crushed donuts, and monster cookies. So Booberry is like that blueberry, blueberry um, Halloween cereal. And that's just what it smells like. Like you opened your head in a bag of that Booberry cereal that you had as a kid, which I'm not upset about. I love the way that it smells. Mm, it's so yummy. It's a little bit of that like dust at the end of the bag with the blueberry cereal. It's so yummy. <gasps> oh my God. All of these scents are just yummy. All right. Now this is one I've never tried before, but I knew I had to have a whole pie in them. So I got two half pies in Koopa Claus Needs a Latte. Guys, cut it out. Oh my God, my cats. As soon as they see me film, they're like, attack mode. Espresso baked sugar, no. Espresso baked zucchini bread, royal sugar cookies, and Gilligan's Brew. Now Gilligan's Brew is like a creamy coconut blend, and that's not my favorite scent. However, from another vendor who has like a coconut coffee, but I don't support the vendor, has a scent like this, and <sighs> this is so good. Because I'm not the biggest fan of coconut, but I feel like mixed with coffee and bakery, the coconut needs to be there because it adds this fresh creaminess that a lot of scents don't have that are coffee. And that's in here. It's so good. It's like one of the best latte you ever drank. Mmm. It's good. It is a yummy, yummy scent. I mean, sh zucchini bread, sugar cookie, bakery, a little bit of coconut, mm, you can't go wrong. Another whole pie. My Moo Moo track. And I blame this on Lexi. Two quick wicks. She told me about this scent. Well, she told everybody about this scent. And I got it in a muffin from a random act of kindness. I was so excited. I popped it in my warmers, fell in love with it because it's one of my favorite notes in wax. And then... Uh, I also love cow print, so like for it to be black and white like that, and the mini melters really look like cow print. And then I ordered a bunch on her ready to ship, and then I like got my order. I'm like, where's my movement track? I realized it jumped out of my cart, and I didn't even know it. So I have a half a muffin left that I refused to melt until I got more, and now I have a whole pie. So I'm content. And this is birthday cake, banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries, and marshmallow smoothie. Banana is my guilty pleasure fragrance. I love the scent of banana in wax. And I don't care if it's artificial. I don't care if it's real. I just love the smell. And this smells like a banana cream pie with fresh picked strawberries on top. That's it. And you cannot go wrong with it. Even if you're not a banana lover. Oh my god, they're crazy. Moo Moo Track, 100% needs to be in your life because it is fabulous. It's so good. Oh, the last two pies in this box is also one pie. Shy guy. Now, I have to laugh at Katherine King, who said Drew is far from shy. I can't help it. I mean, I have purple hair. I have fun glasses. My personality is larger than life. And I like to have fun. I like to do things. But at the same time, like, I also go to New York by myself because I want to. I get to do things for myself. I share my life so much on the internet, in real life, that whenever I do have that time, I do like it for myself. But 99% of the time, shy guy is not a word to describe Drew Yock. I am out there. I'm bubbly. I'm fun. And this scent is spearmint, pine, and shaving cream. Shaving cream. You know, Drew is the king of shaving cream here on YouTube. And and again, I don't love pine, but spearmint, pine, and shaving cream. Put it in the bathroom, put it in the main room, bury me with this scent, and Sweeney's Barbershop from VCS. 
I don't care. I talk about other vendors and vendors' videos because it's mine. Kirby ordered from Rose Girls. Um, Jenny orders from Kirby. I, I don't mind. And vendors support other vendors. And if a vendor doesn't support other vendors, that's a problem because you need to know, you know, what people love. But don't copy. <sighs> so good. Shaving cream, pine, and spearmint. This scent is fresh. It's crisp. And even though it's spearmint and pine, you can melt this all year long. And I plan on it because now I literally have... Let's see how I'm going to do this. My whole entire head worth of Shy Guy. Two boxes down, one to go. This one. Star of Wonder, Star of Night. Strawberry Euphoria and Serendipity. Strawberry Euphoria is one of Jenny's own custom blended strawberry scents. Nobody really knows what's in it. And then Serendipity is like a coconut cherry. Uh, also scents that I don't love. But for one, the color, gorgeous. But the scent, the scent, you guys, is out of this world. It is like... The strawberry sends you to another world. It's almost like a strawberry milkshake because it's so creamy and rich. And blended with the creamy coconut and the cherry of serendipity, it's bright. It's bright. It's fruity. It can come across a little tropical because of the coconut and the cherry, but if this was a drink, I would drink it up because that smells so good. Next one, Koopa Troopa Assault. And this one is raspberry sauce, pomegranate, sweet lemon confection, and marshmallow smoothie. And this is one that was reformulated. I don't remember smelling it before, but the notes just sounded too good not to. You have to love Lemon Bakery to like this scent because it's 65% Lemon Bakery. But you smell pomegranate and raspberry sauce equally after. It's kind of like, like a lemon tort with like a pomegranate raspberry sauce blended on top because it's so, so fruity and so tart. It's really good. I didn't think I would love this, but I really do. I like how the lemon bakery blends with the super fruity. Tenacious Toadette. And this one, sugar plum punch, cherry cola, and cotton candy frosting. Does this not scream Valentine's Day? I love it. This is good. It's my least favorite out of all of the pies, I'll be honest. I feel like I had this. I do have I did have it before years ago. I feel like it didn't smell the same. I don't know. I it's not as much cola as it is cherry. I was hoping for a little bit more like effervescent bubbly Coca-Cola scent where it's way more forward on the cherry and the sugar plum. It's not bad. It's really well blended. I kind of just wish it had a little bit more cola. So if you like like the fruity cherry fragrances, I think you would like this. And if you're afraid of Coke, don't be. Manic Mario Madness. This is also getting more mini muffins in my order. Okay, this is 4th of July, Total Americana, Macintosh Madness, Blueberry Muffin, and Vanilla Ice Cream. So blueberry and apple, which you don't find a lot. And it's like... You know how sometimes apple can come across really, really, like, snappy? Like, you know when you eat an apple and it snaps in your mouth, it's so crisp and fresh, and sometimes that comes across through and wax? I think the yeastiness of the blueberry muffin and the creaminess of the vanilla ice cream tones that down a lot. So if you're an apple lover, you'll still really like this. But if you're a bakery lover and you're afraid of apple, give this a try because this blueberry muffin in here, the blueberry muffin, it just adds this really crumbliness to the wax. It's so yummy. This one, I, I she hit the nail in the head on that one. Really like. Yoshi the Red Nose Dino, and this is raspberry sauce and pistachio marshmallow fluff. I'm also a sucker for pistachio, as long as it doesn't come across cherry. 
and this doesn't. This is so strong. And raspberry sauce is one of Rose Girl's like most strong fruity fragrances. And pistachio in general, even if you're a vendor who like has performance issues and you have a pistachio wax oil, like it throws. So blending those two together, total powerhouse. This pistachio in here is so creamy, so yummy, so almost like you could literally eat this. Like if this was a candy or something, you could definitely eat this. Think of like a pistachio marshmallow, like a parfait, and then like in between the layers were rich, juicy raspberries that the juice was just oozing out of them. Totally. And then the last one. Why did I only order a half pie? This right here is what makes me sad that she's not offering pies. Something's happening outside. There's the fire truck. Banana cream pie, bear claws, and vanilla ice cream. Look at this. I love banana. Why didn't I order more? Banana cream pie bear claw. This is so good. If you know a bear claw, it's like that pastry that has like the um, nuts and the... Um, caramel and the brown sugar and the cream cheese you smell that all and it's so warm and it like sits in your stomach because it smells so good and that banana cream pie is that same banana cream pie note that's in Moo Moo Track which I love like a real authentic banana cream pie This is a Christmas present to myself, and I'm I'm very, very happy. And even though I'm happy, it was not a sponsored video. I pay for this all myself. Believe me, I pay for it all myself. Good thing it's already been paid for, and, like, it's done, and I get all the amazing wax. So, that was my Rose Girls haul. I love seeing everybody's pre-orders coming in the mail. I'm watching all your videos. Chair, um, Chair didn't make one yet. Catherine, Emily, Danny... Those are the only three I think that got their pre-orders so far, but I've been watching them all, and this week is going to be insane for me working retail, so this will be my last video before Christmas probably, so I just want to take a time. I wish you all a beautiful, beautiful Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. I love you all so much. You matter. You're such an important part of my life. I wouldn't be here with that number, over 10,000 of you, if it wasn't for you. You guys make me happy. You guys make me wake up every day. When I get a wax package, I want to share it with my waxy friends. And it just, it makes me super, super happy to have you all in my life. Have a beautiful holiday. A happy new year. I'll see you before new year. But I love you so much. You matter. And subscribe. Have a good one. Bye.